Good morning, good morning. All right. It's Saturday. Saturday at 9.17. Saturday 9.17. Um, yeah, how about you guys? How are you doing? Let me show you what um, I was asked to do from the comment. So let's go to uh, YouTube uh, website here. I was asked um, if I could, just the uh, comment. Uh, this person, I cannot pronounce his last, his name, uh, asked me to do the uh, the uh, SQL transaction. <clears throat> commit and roll back type of stuff in the in the uh, image success yeah you know what that's a good idea a very good idea I can show you how to do that that shouldn't be a problem <coughs> excuse me mm. <clears throat> stayed up late and just got up <clears throat> stayed up late and just got up but um, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to, uh, minimize that. Let's get to, uh, our program. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's start, let's start writing, a, uh, developing or writing a code here. So we're going to come in here and try, um, uh, come in here and let's, um, let's create our, uh, database. We're going to go in there and go to our, uh, Folder, access project. Let's create a new folder. SQL transaction. I think that's a good good name. What do you think? That is a good name. What do you think? Let's create that, and we're gonna go in there, select that, and change the uh, database name to um, game name equal SQL transaction. Now, if you remember, if you write this name name, <coughs> name here, make sure you don't use it in any way in your application, all right? The application name and the object names that you use in object cannot be the same, right? Just remember that. So let's uh, continue, okay, great. Um, we are not interested in this table, but we gotta have some kind of um, records to uh, to uh, to update and uh, you know to update, so I can show you how to do the uh, commit. Is it a commit and roll back? Commit and roll back. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's uh, let's see if we can go find uh, something that we can work with. Let's go grab. A tote table from a, from previous uh, uh, application. I don't have a lot here, as some of you may know. Two years ago, I lost the uh, the whole hard drive. My hard drive failed to work. And um, recently, well, not recently, six seven months ago, six months ago, yeah, seven months ago, I went overseas, and that hard drive was damaged as well. So, yeah, I lost a whole lot of stuff. Um, I had my hard drive um, in my luggage, and it looked like uh, somebody had damaged it. It has four marks, so it's just too bad, you know. Uh, so, next time I have to be careful if I were to uh, bring my hard drive external hard drive with me but had a whole lot of stuff in there a whole lot of stuff not just the um, you know project video but all bunch of yeah all YouTube projects in there but anyway these are the reason one that I created since then and some of these guys were re remade but not shown to you guys because some of these were just remade. Uh, 
but that from from what I can uh, remember, but you know, as 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 a project, other projects that has long list, I don't have that. But I noticed that this is uh, this project management here. Yeah, I also did that. I think there might be some some stuff in there that we could do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the latest one here. Um, all we are interested in is just one table. We are interested in one table that has several records, so we can so we can update. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, this one right here seems seems pretty good right here. It should have some records and for the invoice. Yeah, we can do that. You know what? Let's grab that and see what we can do with that one. There it is. So. Double click. Yeah, this is what I expected. I expect some of the records. So we got three records in here. And the best part is we got price right here. We can modify the price. Alright. We can use this file uh this file for our example. Alright. <clears throat> let's uh let's uh let's get going. Let's go create the module here. I'm gonna name this module DB um, SQL um, yeah 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 DB SQL transaction now I'm trying to name this guy similar to all other uh, modules that you have all right so that way it's easy to identify here. Hey, these are modules, these are class modules. Yeah. <laughs> and the next thing that I want to do is I gotta we gotta come up with some, you know, a function or a subroutine that does all updates. So there's that there there are two types of updates for our, uh, for our need. I'm kind of brainstorming thinking here. <clears throat> coffee, mm -mm -mm. coffee in the morning. So, um, yeah, you know what? Let's do. Uh, let's create a f one function that performs two tasks. We are going to um, increase the. Um, let's go back to the table so I can explain you to you better. So let's imagine this is the uh, product product list. All right. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna. You know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna change his name right here. For product uh, list or product. All right. Let's let's do some changing here. You know what? Let's do some changing here. Yeah. Let's change this to product ID. And this, yep, and this is product number. And we're not interested in the line number here because this is a product. But these products, okay, these products got uh, what else? I'm gonna save that. Let's let's take a look at this guy. He, he did, um. So this is the product number, and that's just ID for us. Um, line number. Here's a description. So this is good. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's change this. Let's let's go ahead and change this one. I think I got this. Line number could be type. Product type. ID. Yep. Sounds good. That looks good. <laughs> so we just modify this one just to make it look like a product table. All right. Because uh, we're going to be uh, looking at this. If, yep. <clears throat> and yeah, and these are the description. So just, you know, just something that we can work with. All right. So maybe this month we want to uh, do a price markup. Price. Um, 
markdown all right based on the type or or so forth i'm not going to do the type because you can do this in the logic but i can show you the rollback or not rollback uh or uh commit all right on the price so let's now that we have the product table we know and let's go in the code let's do that let's do that you know what let's do this stuff um update um but up price okay but up price. and then we're gonna pass in um yeah update pro um hold on let's 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 think about this name right here well I'll, I'll let you come up with that name uh, you know i'm just i'm not gonna go into it so we can say uh, we're gonna say percent change yeah percent change as double because you could send in one and a half percent two and a half percent or whatever it is um here is where i was i was saying um obviously i had thought about it earlier before i uh before i started uh showing you this i was thinking if we could say mock up mock down that would be nice and then we can just use our logic in this function or in this subroutine to uh to determine which one we are going to do all right so we're going to have it uh, bullying is markup is markup as bullying yeah that's good like I've said in the past and many times in the uh, in the subroutine and in function you should always uh, define your your error trapping all right so let's say on error go to uh, handle error okay so these are the things that you um you want to do i'm not going to do a complete one i'm just going to show you how this could work so we're going to say handle um handle oops error and then right here that's where oh yeah let's change this back back to yeah so um that's why you're gonna uh, do all your um handle your arrow here handle error yeah yep and then exit stop okay um so the transaction to do a commit, to do a uh, commit and rollback, you have to have one thing. You have to have the workspace, all right? So we can use a DAO, ADO, ADO workspace to uh, use a transaction in SQL. So let's go ahead and define that. We'll say dim uh, workspace as uh, ADO, uh, D, uh, yeah, DAO, my bad. And then there's workspace in here. There you go. All right. We're going to need uh, a record set, which we have a table called ta uh, product. Uh, because we are going to do uh, two changes, all right, we need to make sure we define the um, Make sure we uh, define our price change first. So, so let's do this. Let's call price change as double, All right? And now we can go ahead and say set workspace equals um. I think it's db engine what is it d b i think this is where there you go db engine db engine wait workspace i'm trying to think here yeah i think this is it 
Subway workspace. I think that's how that's how that works. All right, so let's try to see if we get any uh, any um, air in here. So the second thing that we want to do is, yeah, I think you have to. This is how you define it. Uh, I don't do this quite often, so uh, this will be uh, the first time you and I are working together. <laughs> uh, equals uh, current dB uh, record set. Record set. Uh, open record set. Oof. So this would be the table, which is we know we just created that one product. All right. <coughs> so when we open products, um, we want to start. We want to start the. Um, yeah, we want to start um, reading the records. So to do that. We want to say um, this is how you uh, do the uh, yeah you say begin transaction and then we're gonna close transaction workspace close like so all right and in here okay and in here we can say um, do while not in a file okay like so and then we're gonna loop oh one thing i forgot here in here though when we begin when we begin or even outside here or even outside here you can do that there okay so i don't know why i tapped that one that should be in the outside here we're gonna say uh, or yes, uh, move first. You should always do this. You know, this is not required, but it's a best practice. Best, yeah, it's best practice just to always move to the first record. And in the loop here, you should always do this before you add any logic. Move next. Because if you add logic, say you got, you know, a couple of lines or even 10, 10 lines or 20 whatever lines in, in the loop. You might forget this and if you forget this you're gonna have you're gonna be scratching here and see what's going on right you're gonna have a problem you're gonna get hung up because it, it doesn't do anything it just keeps staying in there but this is a good practice once you create this uh, loop here do loop here go ahead and add this guy so that it knows what to do at the end of your logic now in the logic see this price change I'm thinking let's say this price equals um price and uh, this being percent change it comes in as a whole number right so we're gonna say times and we're gonna say um, the percent change divided by 100 all right so you have to convert that to a to a two percent and that's how you do that convert that to a percent and then we're going to uh, see the price change and this is the price in the uh, in here see that price so that's how that's how that is going to happen now you guys do what your logic okay i'm just kind of do this the goal here is not to uh you know oh this is not the way you do the price change no that's not my that's not the purpose of this video <laughs> purpose of this video is yes to do this <laughs> is to do this so but now we can say oh yes uh hold on before we do that we can say um if uh, B is markup, then we say RS price equal RS price plus the price change. All right? I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this guy right there. Now let's oops. 
Try that, try that. Copy. And now let's do the opposite. The opposite is easy. Let's type not in there and minus. So that's why I was thinking, you know, uh, before I started this video. And that's that. So all I have to do is just, hey, set up the uh, price change using this percent. And then you say, hey, is it a markup? If it is, then do this. And if it's not markup, then it's the opposite. <laughs> then do this. All right. Now, this is where you would handle your, this is where you would handle your, your, uh, now you have to make sure you do this before you close, uh, you close your workspace, all right? <laughs> so, you can say, um, if, we can add a message box. Yeah, add a message box. Let's, let's add a message box. Let's say, um, we say, are you, you know, let's do a wood. Would you like to make changes? Yeah, that sounds good. And then we're gonna add the uh, question mark icon. And then we're gonna add the uh, VB yes, no. And then out here we're gonna say, so if it's yes, then do this else do this so if it's yes what we want to do is we want to say workspace um commit um, commit transaction okay else workspace um uh, rollback but that's how you do it yeah i'm gonna be a little fancy here you see here i'm gonna be fancy here well, actually, let's let's uh let's see if this works. Yeah, let's let's try. Let's see if this works. I am going to uh uh almost. I almost forgot here. We are going to also we're going to also uh close the uh our record set. I almost forgot that. But that essentially the whole thing to update. As far as uh, the whole things to commit or not commit. All right, so let's uh, let's test it out. I'm gonna save that. All right, we're gonna knock on wood. See if this thing works, that would be magic. Let's create. Let's create yeah, let's create some kind of form or platform that we can uh, do that. So. I'm thinking here we got to have is it a markup or markdown right and we got to have a text box for this guy so yeah two things we need text box and we need uh, some some somewhere to identify if it's markup or markdown let's take a look at our design here I know this is there's a group option here so I'm gonna let's add a group option here all right we're gonna say when make this guy that like JB this option here is mark up and then mark down All right and then we're gonna make a markup the default that would be ID 1 ID 2 either markup is 1 markdown is 2 um, now this is the this is the uh, uh, option group name. Now this one, um, this one is just going. To, they're just going to change this guy, all right. But we're not going to use that label. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish and take this label out. That's it, all right. And we all we are interested in is this little guy right here inside here. So I'm going to pull that guy out to the side. I so saw something like that. Let's give this uh, option group a name. Let's click on that line. We're gonna give this guy a name. Let's call O E T. That's option. Um, 
option um, option uh, product change Pro change type yeah there you go change type I think that's appropriate now let's add a text box all right there you go that's a text box this one is percent change so I'm gonna we're gonna type this guy percent change and and e x t then change like so all right I'm gonna move this guy up uh, right there that looks good right there. Uh, we're gonna need a button so let's uh, let's go right here and we're gonna add we're gonna add a button right there that's good all we are interested in is DMD update yeah up date like so that looks good let's make this uh let's make this uh label darker all right we're gonna change it to front uh color full color to white what is white i'm in mean black one two three four five six Zero is black, just like that, right? That looks good. That looks good. That's all we need. Some something to uh, to help us. All right. Um, uh, let's go ahead and save this guy before before we continue. I'm gonna call that text. That's all. All right. Now let's go in this button right here. Go to event. Double click in the uh, double click inside this uh, on click. And then go to in there. There you go. Now we're gonna validate if we have anything in that text box. So if not, if no, e text box percent change, then then do this. All right. And all we have to do is just call um call db sql transaction action oh, early morning you see I just got up all right um, there update and then we're gonna pass in <clears throat> the um, the text block and change and we're gonna say um, and we uh, yeah we're gonna pass in the uh, true um, now when you want to identify which one it is if let's see if me option change type uh, equals one then that's then it's true and then it's this guy so let's do this one copy that and if it's two we know it's marked down then it's false like so yeah, it's nice and simple. All right, let's let's put it to a test. Let's put it to a test. Knock on wood, guys. Knock on wood. And I think this will work. All right. Uh, like I said, I I don't normally do this. Um. And uh, it's it's not that big a deal. Uh. So let's add. I'm gonna make this guy a 1.5. Hold on. Let's add. Let's do nothing here. He doesn't do anything. All right. Now. You want to capture this guy and let the user know what's going on here because he doesn't do anything right so what you want to do here you want to say hey else uh, you know what um yeah let's put something in there let's say uh let's say uh change price change a uh, price change percent change required yeah there you go then change require something like that yeah something like that that's good enough 
all right so something to your to let the user know what's going on here let's update you see that so obviously you have to do that make it a little nicer <clears throat> but let's take a look at this guy before we do anything so we got a price 15,000 to 8,000 1,000 all right and we are going to say 1.5 uh, mock-up let's see if this does a work Ooh. Uh, okay hmm that's not mm -mm -mm. so like I said what is it uh, works at workspace to what Oh, workspace. There you go. Woo. Like I said, you know, I don't normally do this, but I've done this a uh, uh, couple times in the past. I mean, past like years ago. But I know well, this is, you know, the uh, workspace is in the AO. Um, it's, it's, it's been a while. So you don't create workspace because you create workspace up here. All right. This is, yeah, I mean, you define here, but this is how you create workspace, I guess. Yeah, you should set it up now. Now, with that said, with that said, in order to make this environment a workspace, you have to put a zero in there. That means this is, this work, uh, this uh, workspace, all right? A zero is an index, all right? So, um, so that's, like that let's save that i think that will work let's continue Ooh, what is that uh, 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 uh. uh you will not define the misspell percent oh darn i did misspell you see there i i had a t up there all right let's uh let's continue we're going to stop debugging that i'm going to copy that see Put it right there. That was typo right there. Mistype. All right, let's try again. I think this should be this should be right. Didn't do anything there. Yeah, it didn't do anything there. So let's take a look. Why it why it didn't do anything? Update. That's good. Let's con let's continue. F8. It goes in there. Let's continue yep so let's continue that's the price change and that's good and if it's marked up is it marked up true that does that and oh darn got it okay now that I understand see what happened here uh, this is good debugging when it jumps out right there try when i was trying to set this guy and it jumps out right there you see what happened there something popped in my head i said wait a minute you cannot update the uh record a table a record without edit all right and rs update Yes, that's what I was missing. So, yeah, as I was doing this, I, uh, you know, I wasn't even thinking. But when, when it came in here and I tried to set this guy, all right, from experience, that's what happened. You know, if you know exactly what's going on there, you would know the error. You didn't tell me the error, but it popped out from there, and I know that it requires that guy. All right, see if I uh, see if I'm right. So let's try again let's continue there you go there you go good would you like to make changes we're gonna say no and nothing changes here see there nothing changes there and let's do again I, would you like to make changes now this is markup and this number right here should be higher should be one and a half percent higher all right so let's take a look um 
Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we have to make more uh, changes. Yes. Let's take a look. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, now wait a minute. This guy, how come? Uh, half percent. Where's my half percent? Where's my half percent? Mm -mm -mm. Obviously, you're gonna have to make sure you define this uh, correctly. All right. So, what is the price? The number, and it's a double. So you should add change uh, half percent in there. But I see a whole number here. That's not, that number is not right. That's not correct. So what's going on here? What is going on here? I want to see. Uh, well, obviously you're gonna have to do your own logic, okay? I'm mean, like I said, this is not this is not the purpose of the video. Purpose of video is to uh, show you is to show you how you can you know uh, commit transaction or rollback transaction. Right. Um, so let's do that. I want to see why did why did that guy uh, do that. So uh, this time I'm gonna put about three point five percent markup. All right. So let's update. Are you sure you want to make changes? Yes. That's more like it. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. But anyways, but that would be the numbers. All right. So. Uh, I'm gonna fancy this guy up a little bit more here. You know what? Let's do some. Let's fancy it up. Now that we are into it, let's message as string. So here we can say, yeah, we can say, um, you know what? I'm gonna copy these two guys right here. Like that. Like those two guys. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use them. Like so. We're gonna add. We're gonna add a message. Here is markup. We want to say. Um, we want to say. Would would you like mark up? Uh, would you like to continue with markup? Yeah, that's good. That's it. Would you like to continue with mark up pricing? Uh, if it's no, then oh, what's my message? I thought I had message in there. S message equals there. Now we can we can do the same with this one. This kind of, you know, yeah, you guys got me into it. So now let's change that to mark down. And then we can just go ahead and replace this guy with, oop, not that, with S message. I saw. So that would be, that would be, that's, that would be what we want to do. So let's try again. This time we're going to mark down. All right, we're gonna do a two percent markdown. Update. You see there, with markdown pricing. Would you like? Would you like to continue with markdown pricing? Sure. And it changes. All right. See there. Now remember this. Fifteen four four two point seven one. 15442.71. So we can say, would you like to uh, do a pricing markdown? No. That's all you do. That's the uh, commit and rollback. That should be the same number. And that's how you do it. Nothing to, nothing to do. Uh, yeah, nothing hard. Nothing hard at all. Uh, that's how you would. Uh, that's how you would code your, you know, your commit and rollback. You just need to set up a workspace and use it from yeah like so just like the way i, I had here um there you have this is the debug i was looking at this number why it does it not give me a decimal numbers there yeah, now it just it does give me a decimal number 
though. Like so. Alright. Happy programming, people. That was a good question. That was a good question. Happy programming. Bye for now.